My name is Erin. I handle uh, marketing and PR here at NIS America. And this is the Voices of Erebonia. So let's introduce everyone. First, we have Sean Chiplock as Reen Schwarzer. <laughs> Joe Zija as Kurt yeah, Vander. Joe! Terry Carolyn as Sarah Ballestine. <laughs> Edward Bosco as Machias Regnitz. <laughs> Michelle Marie as Milliam Orion. <laughs> Jonah Scott as Randolph oh, Orlando. Oh, it's a you. Valerie Aram as Aurelia Liquid. Yeah. Erica Lindbeck Let's as go, Vita Clotilde. Yeah. We'd just like for each person to, you know, tell us a bit about your character and the process of finding your voice. Uh, so we can start from right over here, actually. Oh, Edward? hi. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Edward Bosco. I'm Machias. Uh, I saw he had a shotgun in the first game, and I was like, I know what you're going to sound like. That's how it worked for me. Yep. <laughs> also, man, does he have an intro to that first game. He does, whew, he has a lot of things to overcome. Yep. Hi, I'm Michelle Marie. I'm uh, Milliam. Um, she is extremely energetic and super hyper, and um, I love the fact that her nickname is Bunny, or that she has like a rabbit aesthetic, um, because when I was little, one of my nicknames was Energizer Bunny, so, <laughs> so I uh, really connected with her um, instantly because of that. So Milliam is just really, like, she's just pure energy, basically, so that's what I did with my voice, was just trying to harness pure energy and bring it to life. And Michelle, I have to say, I, I'm Val, I'm the director of the game as well, I did the voice direction. Yeah! yeah! First of all, these people rock, but I have to just say, Michelle, I'm gonna give you a shout out because she replaced our original Milliam, um, and I think that she absolutely killed it in this game. I think, I think she just did an amazing job. So, shout out, shout out. Um, I'm Sean Chiplock, I voiced Dreen Schwarzer. Uh, Woo! Well, when I came in, they said, you know, for Reen, we really want someone who's smart, sensible, knows exactly what to say, and who everyone can rely on. I said, I think you have the wrong guy. <laughs> um, but no, uh, Reen is very special to me because he was a character I over-prepared for. Like, when I first heard about the auditions, uh, I, when I had first booked the role, I went on TV tropes, I looked up videos, I, I saw a Let's Play of the game. So when I walk in, the, the original vocalization <laughs> editor was like, all right, so let me tell you a little bit about the game. And I went, hold on, I have some questions first. And I start asking her about stuff from like the last third like, of the so game. So in game seven, and she was like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> we're like, oh, oh, I think he's ready for this. So, so it, was, it was truly a collaborative effort. I came in with all of the knowledge, and then between Val and, and you know, the localization team, they helped direct that knowledge into each specific scene, each line, each relationship. So since I already knew what was going on, I just needed those last little bits of info from them in order to set me in place, and then it was just a smooth process from there. So I have to give huge thanks to Val and the rest of the team for taking Taking the fire that I had and focusing it where it needed to be at any given time. And for telling me I'm smart. Hey guys, my name is Jonas Scott and I voice Randolph Orlando. Um, I uh, got the audition sides for this and I, there were, was like what, seven, eight characters for the dudes and I looked at Randy and I'm like, that one. <laughs> I want that one. Oh yes, he will be mine. So I, I leaned into it really hard. He, his, uh, his description was like, he's 26, he's an older brother, he's kind of debonair, he likes women and drinking and going out, and I'm like, hey, look, I just graduated college, I know how to do that stuff, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, I just, I have a pretty lower register for him, and uh, I think it sounds good. So we'll have to job. wait for you guys to see, but thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Joe Zija. I'm the voice of Kurt Vander. Woo! Woo! 
Finding Kurt was, was super easy for me just because uh, I, I'm actually ex-military. I come from, I was an officer in the Air Force and I just kind of like sunk back to that like, I am very, very serious all the time and nothing is funny. And that, <laughs> and like, that was my life for a long time. So Kurt is just like an extension of that. It was, it was not so bad. Old hat. Yeah, it's old hat. Well, back to what we did You're my before. favorite edgy son. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and on 4th of July, thank you for your service, sir. Oh, yes, sir. You. Hi guys, could we try to have a little more fun, please? <laughs> so, um, I'm Valerie Aram, and uh, I am the voice of Aurelia, and um, I did not have trouble, after directing everybody on the first couple games on this, they wanted someone who was strong, and who was in charge, and who knew what she was doing, and I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> I've been training for I've this. I've been training for this. So, um, no, but this whole process was amazing. And uh, I, I loved finding this character. I loved helping everybody else find their characters and just getting to dive feet first into this game, which it was such a fun process. So, mm -hmm. thank you guys all for coming out and uh, talking about it. Oh, you have your own. Oh, you got a fancy one. I got like a handheld mic. Yeah, we have works. Hey guys, I'm Carrie Karen and I play Sarah. <laughs> Your favorite teacher. Welcome, class is in session. Um, I okay, legit audit I don't I don't drink, but my mother is a teacher and like I come from a lot of teachers, so I'm like, oh I get that part of it and I love her as a teacher. But I literally auditioned for her laying in my bed with my feet up the wall, like what? sitting with like, you know, like I'm laying like this and my feet are up. And I was like, all right, class, let's do this. I was like splayed out and I, on my phone because I didn't want to record her in a booth. And I was like, this is never, I'm never gonna book this. This is super fun though. <laughs> Uh, but I booked it. And the producer was like, oh my, Carrie Kiernan is absolutely Sarah. And I was like, well, that's an interesting choice. And then we listened to the auditions. I was like, oh my, Carrie is absolutely Sarah. Um, well, Vita's really interesting because she's also Misty. So it's like... Spoilers. It, oh, come on. Wow. It's been so long. You got y'all. Well, I, I needed to mention that Get because back. when I initially... <laughs> When I initially, wait, is that really a spoiler? Yeah. Do, people, do people not know that? Now people... she's worried. <laughs> okay, well, Vita's just Vita. There's nothing else to her. Uh, I, thought, I thought Vita was the spoiler. Uh, okay, well. Well, either way, you've done it. If, I've done it, so I'm just gonna keep going it's with done. it. Just own it, Erica. It's been years, oh my lord. Um, so when I initially actually auditioned, it was like, I think Val sent me something, she was like, she's like an NPR announcer, like an NPR person, and I was like, uh, uh, okay, great. Like, For smooth like, like smooth jazz. Like smooth jazz. So when I auditioned, I was like, is this really a JRPG? Like, I feel like I'm auditioning to be a, like a radio, like a disc jockey. Right. And then, and then I went in and I did it. And like, I feel like there was very little of Vita in the first game. And that's why that was the initial audition was to do like the radio stuff. And, uh, and, and every game, it feels like she has a different angle and, and she, her relationship to everybody is different or she's like losing someone different. It's, it's, it's really interesting. It's, uh, it's crazy. There's so much lore to this game that I could not possibly know if I had, if I, if I, uh, unless I played it. So yeah, I mean, she's, she's super awesome. It's, it's really interesting because I have to stop often while we're recording to be like, okay, so what is her relationship with this person? Because it's, it's so different. It just runs the gamut, you know? And my um, answer is always, she's like, why is my character this? And the answer is always because anime. Yes, there you go. because <laughs> anime. So yeah. Why is yeah. this going on? Because anime. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she's definitely very multifaceted. I, maybe I should have said that instead of... Um, but yeah, anyway, you know. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you so much. So moving on, the next few questions were taken from social media from fans like you. Hey. So thank you very much. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's get on. <laughs> ether. Okay. Uh, so you the first ask. one will be... Hey, cat. How much do you personally relate to your character? What do you like and dislike about your character? So actually, if we can start from the reverse end this time, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, from the far think. end. Oh, That's boy. you again. No spoiler. Yeah, hey, so. No spoiler, no spoiling. Um, 
I think that, uh, I think that Vita is a really sweet person. <laughs> there's really, there's really no, no, no negatives to her at all. Um, and I, and I feel that that also, uh, is me. Everyone just loves me. Um, and everything, and everything I do and everything I say and not, I'm, I'm not a polarizing person, uh. And I think that Vita is very much the same way. She's very, um, like, what you see is what you get, you know? So that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> Mike. Um, I love I love Sarah. I oh love Sarah God. so much. And I because I mean what I love about her is she's like, hey, uh, you want to learn something? Go ahead, give it a shot. She's like, here, if you guys if you survive, you pass. Sweet. Because I, but I Go. like like because I'm very much like I only learn by doing things. So like I really like that way of like teaching. And like aside from the fact that like maybe she puts in like a little bit of danger from time to time, <laughs> and like maybe she drinks a little too much. And like maybe she's like a little too much reen in her life. Like, like a little, just like a little too much. I mean, she's like, I, I love her. I feel like, I feel like she, I, who here wouldn't want to be in her class? Oh, right. Actually, no, I no, love okay. her. Who wants to be in Sarah's class? Who wants to be in Sarah's class? Right? You'd be like, that'd be way better. You're like, okay, I can just figure it out as I go. And I just, I, what I love about her is that she's very much like, how she feels about someone is like completely apparent the moment they walk into the room and she doesn't make any apologies. And I accidentally have that power because if I don't like someone, I have a real inability to hide it. I just try to like stay away and not like look in their direction because like it's uncomfortable for the people around me that I don't like someone in the room. So I try to, I try to, I try to, I just try to be honest. And um, straightforward. Anyway, so I love her. I, there's nothing I dislike about her. Some of the most fun sessions we have ever had. Putting Carrie and I in a room together is ridiculous. Yeah, and no. we're lucky to... I like to make the producers blush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, like, I like how you said she tells her students to give it a shot, whereas I feel with Sarah, she'd be like, you want to learn something? Give me a shot. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sessions with Carrie are always fun because she really does. She finds out that comfort level of the producers. Uh, my comfort level with her is there's no, yeah, there's no making me blush with her. But the, she will find out the comfort level of the producers and just push it, like, right there. And I can hear them, like, whimper behind me. <laughs> but, like, they can't say anything because right. they cast me. You know what I mean? Like, they knew, they knew what they were getting into, you know? Was that appropriate? Were we rolling? Did we get that on tape? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Aurelia, I, I just have to say, I love strong female characters because I don't think as females in anime a lot of times that we get credit, um, A, for being over 25. <laughs> <laughs> So she's the most experienced person. She's the, uh, the oldest. She's super strong. She's a lawyer. She's a detective. She's a top whatever. She's 22. What? Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. What? Right. I'm dead in anime years. Like, <laughs> so I love it when I can finally get a character who's maybe a teeny bit over 25 and actually still alive um, and is just strong and confident and knows who she is and takes care of situations because I don't think, you know, a lot of times we get the, <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, God, no. <laughs> so I, I, that's what I love about her. I love that. I love seeing games where we have really strong women represented because I think a lot of times we're just the fluff on the side, like we're the cupcake on the side. Um, so I, I love that about this game and I love that about my character. Woo! 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 <laughs> So I guess I, I kind of already alluded to the fact that I, I was in the military, but if um, he, Kurt reminds me of a, a younger version of myself, like right when I had just gotten commissioned as an officer, and it was like, I was so uptight that my butt squeaked when I walked, <laughs> you know what I mean? And like Kurt reminds me of that, where like everything is just so... Is that so, what that is in the booth? That's what it is, every time, that tech, sorry. It's, uh, and it's just like, everything was so serious, and he didn't have time for like anybody else's like, fun or anything like no laughing aloud. So it was like that. That was like an older version of me. So, do I personally relate to my character? Yeah. What do I? Yeah. <laughs> I like. I like that about him that he can like get stuff done. But uh, you know, like throughout the game, he has a, a nice character arc where he does learn to laugh a little bit and have a little bit of fun. So, 
Uh, I don't know, that's, that's what I like about Kurt. His butt does not squeak when he walks. <laughs> How unfortunate. They, they didn't dump that? that yeah, that's the that's DLC. The DLC. That's, the DLC. <laughs> that's a microtransaction. Oh, I can't wait to direct that. <laughs> um, let's see. There's three things I really like about Randy. Um, he's pretty good looking. And two, it, it's, it's, it's rare in like anime style stuff. You get to go into your base when you're like doing a doing a male character, most of the time it's like way up here and you're like squeaking and stuff as you're yelling, but no, I had, I had like lower, lower, do it more, so squeaking lower. squeaking on that table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, and he's in, uh, he's like an older brother kind of guy and I'm an older brother to two of my younger siblings and I really felt a lot of that, um, I guess paternal care towards the class, you know, that's like a, he's like a dad, he's like a big dad, like to keep your, herd, herd your cats, you know, but, um, and what I dislike, he's kind of, he's kind of aloof sometimes, and if, he, if Randy applied himself, man, he could go far, but that's about it. Um, as someone who also owns a 10-story tall sentient robot, uh, <laughs> What's the insurance like on that? <laughs> Whenever they ask for the payment, I just send the robot. <laughs> They don't call after that. Um, Reen is really interesting because he's equal parts things that I identify with and things that I aspire to be. Uh, he can be a bit dense at times, um, but he always means well. And, and even though he can get a bit convoluted in his anime speeches, he do really does look out. Oh, God. He does, okay? I'm pretty sure that Goku versus Frieza fight took less time. I was in the room, I remember. Right. But he means well, and he looks out for the best in everyone, and, and he, he finds everyone's unique strengths and knows how to, how to lift them up and get them to work together. And, you know, that's something that I like to think that I'm pretty good at, where I can, you know, point out what people are really good at, and I'm also good at giving advice if they have troubles, and, you know, a lot of people feel like if they need to vent or if they have questions or need advice that they can come to me and feel comfortable. Um, and that's something that I really identify. Uh, stuff that I aspire to, you know, I'd like to be more confident. I'd like to have a better general knowledge of situations that I'm dealing with. Um, so it's been a nice learning process. You know, the longer that I've played Reen, the more about him I get to learn, the more comfortable I get. It's, it's a nice amount of give and take. Um, as for what I like and dislike, uh, I like that he's the undisputed head pat champion of the last decade. <laughs> Uh, I do dislike, he is so incredibly dense, though. Like, Elisa could come up in, like, a swimsuit and be like, hey, Reen, want to go spar at the beach? And he'd grab his touch and be like, yeah, you know, uh, Sarah will really lay into us if we don't pass that fighting class tomorrow. <laughs> he'd have no idea, so. You know, just like my marriage, so. <laughs> I, t I told her before this panel, I said, just speak after me and you'll sound better no matter what. <laughs> um, well, I absolutely adore Milliam. She is like, I just, I love her immensely. She kind of reminds me of like miniature me, like when I was actually like five, even though she's 15, like um, her personality is a lot like I was when I was little, hugging random people, um, wanting to be friends with everybody and not understanding what's going on, really, like just being happy all the time. Um, and um, I really um, relate to her now because she has a lot of witty like one-liners and, and I love puns and so I really just like her kind of cheeky attitude. Um, I don't think there's anything I dislike about her, just that her cosplay is really difficult, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Um, but uh, so one thing I do want to say is that when I got the audition for the um, character, I was like, yes, I'm so excited. And then when I went into the booth, um, when Val was telling me, okay, we're gonna mess around with the voice, and so you do this, and you know, your chest voice and your nasal voice, I kind of said under my breath, oh no. Because <laughs> cause I was like really nervous, but I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> but now you know. I think everybody the first time they come in, I, and I don't know what this is, but every time they come in and work with me for the first time, I, I get like the first 10 or 15 minutes and it's got a little of this underneath <laughs> it a little bit. And then they kind of settle in and they realize that I'm not an evil queen and I'm not gonna- <laughs> It wasn't to, that to be I was fair, scared you are of you, I was just really terrified. You live in a castle. What? 
I realize that in anime years, I am evil queen there old at this point. There are booby traps to get but... to the bathroom. <laughs> and the vicious attack dogs. Don't forget the vicious, vicious attack fluffies. Um, so, no, but y you settle in, and then once you kind of find it, and you get out of your actor brain, which is the, oh God, I'm not going good, they're going to fire me. <laughs> Once you can kick that guy out of your head and sort of settle into what you're doing, I find that you guys, like, you find it. And I'm just there to sort of guide the ship a little bit. Like, you know where we're, we're on vacation, we're all on the ship together, we know where we're going. And if you start to veer off course, I'm there to go, no, da, 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 back, okay. And that's all I'm there to do. I'm like, we all, the ship all works because all of us are on it. But I'm just there to sort of help nudge us back into place when we need it. And, and once you guys get it, then I take you back to the top of the script at the very end of your session, and you pick up those first 15 minutes like that, mm -hmm. and it's locked in. And you, you killed it. You killed it. <laughs> Thank and you. And I didn't bite yes. your head off. <laughs> she did uh, give me a run for my money in terms of, like, energy, like, because you have to be, like, really excited all the time for, like, three hours, and you can't take a break. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, it was really fun. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break the trend. I'm nothing like Machias. Uh, I'm not. I, I didn't grow up like he did. I don't have a shotgun. I I don't. Uh, what what don't I like about him? Uh, he has a very antiquated sense of what women should be in the first game, and uh, he he eventually overcomes that because we recorded the first scene. and I went, Val, is this like actually happening? Is this actually? He's like, we are we sure we should let the ladies go off by themselves? I'm like, Machias, no. <laughs> And I've been streaming the game with a buddy, so now he has a nickname. He's like, Edward, he respects women, Bosco. And I'm like, no, it's the character. Come on, guys. It's, the it's not. I don't. So we're nothing alike. What I love about him is that he gets over that. Um, and the one thing that we do have in common is I'm not a fan of people who take advantage of others to make money. So his view on nobles, as extreme as it might be, to certain extents we have similar regards in that... I don't like people who just make money and don't try to give back and help other people. I'm really big on that. So I'm with Machias on that. So next up, we have a bit of a more silly question. <laughs> so, um, Hold on, Google's my friend. Hang on. Hang on me. I'm standing for this one. Can you guys like, do it instead? So we're starting at that end, right? Yeah, this, yeah, okay, cool. this one, it doesn't necessarily have to be like what your character says. I got this. you'd like to say in battle. I got it. Essentially, yeah. I got it. Yeah, let's start oh, from here. Oh, the <laughs> I got it. I got this, guys. <laughs> I don't have to do a battle cry because I listened to all of you. <laughs> For me to remember one would be impossible. <laughs> Nobody? Yeah, all right, no, go, ahead. go ahead. Okay. Uh, my, my favorite that's not mine is when guys goes, Mo wind! Mo wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the amount of wind jokes that went on in the booth. Uh -huh. <laughs> there were course, times we had to stop recording because... How, how many people have played Cold Steel 2? That's Termination right. slash darn! <laughs> I'm just gonna do. Uh, is this on? Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't Hello? even tell. Ugh, they okay. turned you off after the spoil. After, after okay, I spoiled I like, everything. No, no. You guys, I'm not gonna do a line of my dialogue, but I will, in fact, do. I don't know if you guys know a man by the name of McBurn. Oh no. <laughs> I heard some of his lines. I, I, my, my, my good friend Max Middleman voices him. Oh, and I remember hearing, like, I was, like, shocked. I was like, take me to the fainting couch. Get me my smelling salts, like, after I heard his lines. Because Max never does characters like that. Like, oh, growly, like, yeah. So there's one line. crazy sexy when he does those. I know! I was literally... And Max is not sexy. Max is not sexy. This but, like, his magic. voice in those characters? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. God. Hey. Who is that? Carrie, oh, Carrie. Like, there was a child on this panel. Exactly. No, truly. Excuse me. Jack, 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 cover your ears. Cover your ears, Jack, Jack. This is not... I'm just saying, I would know. I was, yeah, I know I was listening things. to it, and I was like, I was like, is that Max? After every line, I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? That's Max? And there was one line where I believe that McBurn literally just goes, let's see how hot you can make me. <laughs> Oh my god! I 
was like oh, pretty oh, hot, man. Recording. Like, recording. Yeah, we stopped recording for a while after that one. Right? Too, because oh he'd get halfway like, through the line and bust up laughing, and then we'd all bust up laughing, and pretty soon all of us in the booth were like hiding behind the monitors, so he couldn't see us, so none of us made eye contact. This has really become a sliding down. scale of yeah, purity. <laughs> Everyone over here is just like, what are you talking about? Yeah, dude. Sean, there is no purity on this I, table. I want I'm that sorry. That's my ringtone. Like, wow. <laughs> I can arrange that. <laughs> so, wait, wait. The, so, the game hasn't come out in English yet, right? Right. So, nobody in here knows what my battle cries are. Right. So, you should so make, one really make, right make one up. I can say anything right now in a loud voice. Hey, yeah, make one up. Hey, like, go for it. Like, uh, yeah, it, does, it doesn't have to be yeah. actual make, yeah, make from it up. the game. I mean, just. Just spoiler alert, I don't actually say hold my beer in the game. <laughs> like, that was just me just doing that. Yeah. So you can, you know. Although I would have believed that as a battle cry. I mean, why? I would have believed it. I would have believed it. Why isn't it? Believe, it. Why believe it. Wait, no, don't. Sorry. Wait. Sorry, I forgot where I was for a second. Sorry. I can't. The poor sound guy is on these microphones going, oh my gosh, we're just levels down. <laughs> They're so loud. Um, all right, if I had a, a, a battle cry, I don't know, it'd be... Um, I'm here to kick ass and study books, and I left them at home. No. 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 <laughs> you, you could just do squeaky butt. Squeaky butt. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. there, like. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Game over. Uh, Michelle, how about you? And that's the end of my career, guys. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's his end game move. Ooh. You gotta have one, right? Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, right, I actually I had no idea what this character did, like what Randy did, <laughs> until I got cast. So I was like, oh crap, I better do some research. Um, so I went and looked up, and I realized that he's in like a bunch of other of the the games, and he just hadn't gotten a voice yet. So, and then I had looked up like his his weapons and his S crafts, and I looked at a few YouTube videos, and he says. Berserker, I think? It's like, it's hard to understand through the Japanese, but I think he, and he doesn't say it in this game, I don't think. He says it in the next one, but he doesn't say it in this game, but I will say Berserker if you want me to. Yeah! Yeah, do it! it. Berserker! Woo! <laughs> and anyone else would like to yeah, you got offer some? Yeah. yeah, Michelle, go ahead. Uh, the one that I remember is, Let's go, Lammy! Oh. Woo! It's so cute. All right, so moving on, we have. I can find my. Oh. Sorry, for the sake of time, we've got to move on a bit, so I apologize uh. for that. <laughs> Everyone's but, answer would be McBurn like, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I know. I want to voice Reen. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I want to do Milliam. She's yep. so cute. So She's so different from me. Yeah. My second choice was Ash Carbide. I want to we're be the all answering part. anyway. She's like, we yeah. need to move on for time. And then I would like also accept users. Dan, why aren't you here? The furries got him. I, Sorry, guys. I would, do, I would voice Vita. And, it, and what most people don't know is that when we were recording the game, we couldn't find a Vita. So I actually did all the temp voice for Vita until we could find a Vita. So I would go back and do Vita, but the Sony canceled them. Like, they don't make them anymore. Vita because you are Aurelia. What did he say? Wow. Hear. <laughs> Her name is Vita. The console is also called the Vita. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then we found our perfect Vita, and there, that was that. <laughs> I got nothing. What is this? Oh, I see. Sorry for bullying you. Better Sorry, that would. Oh no, no, no worries at all. Like, like, can I run this panel? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So next up, we actually have lines from the game. So oh. if you'd like, you know, each of you to read your line in your character's voice, that'd be great. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, first up. Cold reads, guys. Cold reads. Cold reads, right yep. yeah. Cold I'm, I'm You're back in the recording Cold studio. Reads. Gosh darn it. And if you don't do it right, I'm going to make you do it again. All right, so next up is Sarah. Oh. <laughs> get him. Get him, Carrie. Carrie, no. That's why they. That's why they gave him the wireless mics. But, uh... Wow. Look at you, you're so tall. You really turned into a man, Reen. <laughs> oh, boy. I booked it, I booked it. Oh, God. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, now once uh, once more. Why did she I, go first? I I think I I think we need a second take on that. I didn't. This time with feeling, okay? So actually, speaking of second, we have Machias up next. Oh, great. How do I top that? Have him do that line. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, stuff that people on this panel didn't do. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, <coughs> well, as fully grown members of society and working professionals, we should be in the habit of arriving 10 minutes early. Definitely 10 minutes early is on time, and on time is, is late. 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 Yeah. Everybody knows that. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have Vita. What was I that bad? Oh, she gets Sorry. two. So actually, um, now that the cat's out of the bag, so um, the well, first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the first one is um, as Vita, and then the second is Misty. Okay, well, they were going to spill the beans anyway. I don't know why I got so much crap. They you feel were, better? You they feel better? were. NDA. Wait, is that, I'm sorry, is that Roman numerals for seven? Yes. Yeah. Wait. Great. I knew, I knew that. I just want to make sure you guys, you guys knew. Uh, uh, hmm. The new class seven. It seems like they've begun. Uh, is, it, is it Lino flowers? Lino flowers. Uh, mm. The Lino flowers have been scattered to the winds, and the weather has been just right these past few days. I love how you do your line, you still look to me, you're like, is that Lino flower? Literally, you guys, I'm literally, I'm really so used to going, is that okay? Is that okay, Val? Did I do okay? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. All right, next up, we have Kurt. Hey. Kurt. Kurt. Squeak. <laughs> That's what it says on the screen. <laughs> this is one of my hometowns, and I shall put both my blades and my family's name on the line to defend it. I know you can put those blades. Hold Let's see how hair. hot you can make me. <laughs> this was a PG-13 panel. How are, how are you right? All right, next up we have Milliam. Hey. Hello. Milliam to Reen. Come in, Reen. Come on. Why are you zoning out for? <laughs> Next up, we have Randolph. It's a bit of a long one here. Boy, first time I heard that. Just keep half, scrolling. Right? Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, hot mic. Speaking of, which one of those lovely ladies is your main squeeze? Is it the blonde one? The blue-haired swordsman? Or oh, the one with the glasses? Don't tell me, it's that cute little fairy. Maybe. All right. Uh, wow. Our, I think it's a swords woman. All right. Next up, we have Aurelia. Yeah, but Aurelia's hey. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, okay. Glasses. Okay. Uh -huh. And lest we forget the obvious, this is a war, and you are my enemy. I would bend to you my will regardless. <laughs> was it good, Lindbeck? Did I do okay? Was that all right? Okay. Fire her. And then last yeah, but not least, to yourself. Yeah, was good. we have Reen. Woo. I haven't even done it yet. <laughs> Attention everyone. There will come a time when you guys will need to decide how you're going to move forward as a class. And I plan to give you all the support I can until that time comes. As you can tell, none of us have any fun doing our jobs. Nope. <laughs> Hate it. Nope, we need to lighten up. So next up, we have... <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, so following up, we have a few more, I guess, more lighthearted questions. Oh boy. So we are trying to win Mishi's heart right here. Hey. And check out those cute little animations. This is a Look at they dance. They all dance. <laughs> so in this contest, everyone's a winner, but you know, there can be one on top. 
I'm ready, Trebek. Let's go. <laughs> we should work as a class. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Um, so, for the sake of time, we have three questions, so I'm thinking of splitting it up between uh, the three tables. Okay. So, one table can answer one Team question. Two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Team effort, guys. Okay. Yeah. First one. <laughs> so, if you could have a second S-Craft, what would it be and why? Which table starts? Um, who wants to take this one? <laughs> really, guys? No? Really? Yeah, look at them. Start it down there. All right, we'll start first, it. Fine. Okay, Go first ahead, table. Sean. S-Craft 2, Electric Boogaloo. What? <laughs> you have one? Make one up right now. Maybe my S-Craft would be to know what to say in situations. Oh. <laughs> You're doing amazing, sweetie. Just melt their heart. Um, I think my S-Craft would be finding a perfect home for every homeless cat. Aww. No, that could be your ice craft. You throw the cats at them. Yeah. What is it, Bosco? All right. Um, if I have to give Ma so I'm a wrestling fan, so you, some of you might know this. Uh, Machias would shoot somebody in the stomach. He would put down his shotgun. He would run up. He would RKO somebody. But I would call. <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. But it wouldn't be called the RKO. It would be the Mos KO. And he would just be like. And then he called them stupid. That's all right, awesome. Thank you, table number one. So, second question. Describe your ideal date in Erebonia. Oh, we should give that to this table. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's for this table. So, table number two, let's go. Girls. Do it at the end. The ladies will take this one. Right. Great. Oh, okay. Uh, ideal date in Erebonia uh, would basically... What? Drinks. Hey, hey, your turn, your turn oh, is done. Oh, yeah, who's that hot dad character? What's his name? That's my day. What's Is his that name? A spoiler? Can we say that? Is that? No, just kidding. All right, so uh, it would be an, an imaginary, uh, not real silver fox <laughs> that doesn't exist. Uh, I mean, my ideal day is 100% going to be, um, is going to just be at the tavern drinking him under the table. Pro you know what I mean? If for Sarah. But who's Sarah going to say? For ideal date, not the ideal date. Oh, no, like the ideal date. I Meaning like the date. Like who? Oh, who? What? Right? Yeah, I got it. Listen, it would just be me seeing how hot I can make McBurn. <laughs> That's I'm going it. With, yeah, McBurn. A any, anywhere, anytime. All the time. It, anytime. I think it's, I think it's I Venus, you're talking Sarah, about and Aurelia I with McBurn, were, right? I thought you were just saying we were describing the date, the actual date, like going bowling. You were just thinking about You mean about like drinking. the person? Well, my ideal date would be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> That's who I would take out. For some Rated years. T for team. <laughs> yeah. I love him. I just love him. Yeah. Love me some rock. <laughs> Who's your Is that? I broke Val. I'm sorry. I broke her. I shouldn't have sat next to her. I'm sorry. All right, last I, question. I, I think Marcus. the ideal hot date is, is Vita and Aurelia and Sarah and McBurn. I mean, come on. You're trying to win Mishi's heart. <laughs> Mishi can come along. What the heck? Four to the a more party, the barrier. I guess. I'd move okay, on. I'm sorry. We should not have taken that question. Yeah, we, we apologize. <laughs> we apologize. That was a bad idea. I thought it was a as good idea. As soon as you said the ladies wrong. got this, I'm like, oh, here we wrong. go. I admit it. I admit it. At least I'm we so won't be sorry. last place. Number two. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> okay. So uh, for the last table, <laughs> so Mishi gives you an enormous bag full of Mira. What would you spend it on? Ooh. A really good night out. <laughs> two more swords. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm just gonna leave it on the slide here for now. Oh, it was a setup. You were supposed, you were supposed to spend the mirror on this. <laughs> it was so, in the um, script. Shameless little plug here. So this is our merch for Trails of Cold Steel 3. I'm actually wearing the hoodie right now, so. Yeah, so um, come check that out at our booth. Three, 3306 um, in South Hall. Check out this cool newsletter we got. And then last but not least, we actually have a special guest here with us today. 
Yeah. McBurn! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we have uh, the president of Nihon Falcom and oh. producer of the Trail series, uh, Mr. Toshihiro Kondo we here with so us. We are so fired. Right over here. We're done. We're... I am so sorry. Um, so he'd like to give a special message to everyone who came today. Can you apologize to him for our panel? We didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. How do you say my bad? I'm not going to say my bad. I'm not going to say my bad. I'm not First of all, sorry, I'm not McBurn. And, uh... <laughs> I am so fired. I am, uh, I am Toshihiro Kondo from uh, Nihon Falcom. I'm a Nihon staff. 英語版の線の軌跡で遊んだことがありまして、その時に開発スタッフから一番最初に上がったあのゲームの感想が声が素晴らしいキャラクターにぴったりだという意見でした。When ね。今日こうしてあの実際にあの役を演じていただいた皆さんとお会いできて本当に光栄です。あ、I'm え、きちんと展開できるように僕らも努力していきますし、それから奇跡シリーズはあの線の奇跡の後もあのまだまだ続いていく予定です。で、線の奇跡で登場した登場人物たちもまああの線の奇跡が終わった後も再登場することもある